Safety Awareness Week and this Friday the Sunset Review meeting in Sacramento will take place and that's where people can give testimony to the Business and Professions Committee about how they feel they have been treated by the medical profession and by the medical board. We're joined now by patient advocate Marion Hollingsworth for some insight into what's going to be happen, happening there. And Marion, first of all, I just want to get out there that you got involved in this as a patient advocate in part because of what you went through in your own family. Yes, um, my, my father in 2009 was uh, harmed by uh, two doctors and I filed complaints about them. Uh, the, this preventable harm led to his death. And uh, I found out after looking at the records afterwards what happened to him. And I was outraged, filed a complaint with the medical board. One of the doctors uh, the complaint was tossed out and I warned them if they don't do something uh, he could harm it again, and he did end up on their, their, their probation list with the death certificate project. Uh, another doctor just got a reprimand, and I had been promised that there would be an accusation and probation. So I was disappointed that they didn't take it seriously since it was preventable. And what's happening this Friday, I understand, is really a review of the California Medical Board and whether or not they're doing their job, and your feeling is they are or not. My feeling is they aren't doing their job to protect the consumers of California as what is stated in their mission statement. Uh, we have, um, we follow all of the disciplines out of the medical board and we notice that um, their own records say it takes three years from start to finish to investigate a doctor on average. That's the board's own statistics. It also, uh, they only discipline about 3.5% of the 10,000 plus complaints they receive every year. And uh, we just have suspected for a long time that uh, they have not been following their own disciplinary guidelines. And just last month, one of their own board members did a whistleblower incident during a meeting, which was very much a surprise. And he said that 80 to 90% of the time, the board does not follow their own disciplinary guidelines and that doctors coming up before the board for the first time are usually granted a 40% reduction in a discipline. And we don't feel that properly protects patients. What kinds of things are happening that are warranting the discipline? Oh, for example, uh, a local doctor last year was given a discipline. He was given probation for the overdose death of a patient that the board felt was preventable. Uh, the minimum under the guidelines is five years probation. He was given 35 months. By giving him 35 months, he didn't have to notify patients that he was on probation. You have to be put on five years probation for that to happen. Uh, there is a patient safety uh, bill that says doctors have to tell patients if they're on probation for certain things, um, but it's not for everything. And um, this one did not count, so he does not have to tell patients he's on probation. What's the structure? They have to look up their own doctor. What is the structure of the medical board? Is there a reason that they might lean more toward being sympathetic to the position of doctors? Well, there are, there are supposed to be, by law, eight doctors and seven public members. And right now, uh, five of those members are members of the CMA, the uh, California Medical Association, which the doctors lobby group. And two of those doctors were actually former presidents of the CMA. So that kind of gives them kind of an inherent bias. And it, it shouldn't be that way. We feel that like there should be more public representation. The public should have more of a say about what happens to the doctor because they feel that they are more in the, let's keep a doctor in practice for as long as possible, as opposed to, we need to protect the patients and we need to notify them so they can make better choices for their own care. All right, so that uh, meeting where people can voice their opinions about how this system is working, going to happen on Friday. And for patientsafety.org, is a site that folks can go to to get more information? For Patient Safety is our website for the Patient Safety League. We have a list of doctors who have been disciplined uh, throughout the state since 2014, and there are about 2,600 doctors. A little over 200 are from San Diego County. Uh, but for people who want to watch the, uh, the Sunset Review, you should go to the Business and Professions website, and they can see that, and then get in the queue to testify. Patient safety advocate Marion Hollingsworth, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And if you are looking for more information, we have a link to that website that Marion mentioned. It's under our Resource Center section on 10news.com.